The promised land is this place we're calling Eden, the ether den, the etheric den, or the garden of the etheric den. It's the next level of the game. It must be prepared because the garden is also trying to recover from a catastrophe. It's not heaven. There are problems there as well. There are evil beings there as well that needs to be faced. There are antichrists in Eden right now. They need to be corrected. And there are some beings in this realm here and now who are going to be doing that correcting what we call the Moors. And when I say Moors, I don't mean black people, because I know that's the first thing that's popped into people's heads. More just means you have more of. You have the most. The most what? The most lifetimes. You're an old soul. You have the most. You're a more. You're an old soul. So you are Jew. You're a more, you are Jew. And there are young souls in this place we're calling the Garden of Eden who are just beginning their, their, their journey. What we call the Ariana, the Aryans. They are just beginning. Making many mistakes. Which is why the universe is in turmoil during the season. It's meant to be that way not a bad thing or a good it's just the way it is there are many young souls they're enlightened but they're immature they're young so some of us in this realm us atlanteans those of us who are jew we have become moors you become a moor you're not born a moor you become one those of us who have become moors we must go back to the garden of eden to help restore order, to help prepare the promised land. We are Jew. The universe is turning. It's ascending. So it's really important, I think, at this point in time, especially for those who are listening, because I think we've got a very mature panel of listeners. Those who are listening, try and assess who you are and where you are along that cycle are you here to destroy old paradigms are you here to sustain what we're building on or are you here to be a futurist are you here to leave something behind and move forward to go and start building something new in preparation for the future this is where things like royal families come from i'm getting into a whole different topic now this is where royal families begin. They begin as Moors who transcend time from one realm into another realm and they prepare. And then when that realm is dispersed or moved into a different timeline, those who are the forefathers are the ones who then become the royal families, the royal bloodlines. That's where royal families come from. We talked about the Tsars, the Vikings, the six kings that are still running this realm today. Which is something else maybe we'll talk about another time. Kurda, Brahma, Roma, Skandi, and Slav, and Chin, sorry. Those were the six kings, the six Ariana kings six Aryan kings who came into this realm as the Antichrist, the Nephilim, the fallen angels. And we are just doing the opposite. We are the pro-Christ. We are now going in as Moors into the center to balance the scales. I know this is going to go over the heads of a lot of people. I'm now talking to a very select few people who will understand exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't understand what I'm saying, it's fine. It's okay. It's not, it's not, you know, 
it doesn't matter for you. But what does matter is, I think it's important that we all recognize our roles within the game. So it's a very good question. What is the point of the game? The point of the game is for you to find your place within your journey within this game. What am I here to do? And am I doing it? How do I fit in? What is my purpose? My personal purpose? At the end of the day, it's all about you. You are born alone, you will transcend alone. When you move on to the next game, there's going to be no one with you, not your children, not your spouse, not your best friend. There'll be no one with you when you die or when you ascend, whichever way you're going to transcend. You will be alone, just like you were when you were born. It's a collective reality, but it's a lone game. It's a personal game. You win the game by sharing, by giving, what you're experiencing, what you're learning, and then you grow, then you can move on. Thank you, Martin. That was extremely powerful. Shine your light, so shine on all of them.